Hey guys, let's watch some TV together. Hmm, I don't know what channel that is. Uh. Uh oh, change channel, change channel, change channel. Ah! Uh, I'm just kidding. Go away, color grading. Yeah, that's better. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the girl out of the TV effect from the horror classic The Ring. If you have not yet seen our take on The Ring with Selena from Fables and Fashion is a creepy ass Samara, click on this link up here and go check it out. This video is going to be an intermediate to advanced tutorial. I'm going to go fairly fast and I will assume that you know all of the basics for Adobe After Effects anyways. If you don't, I have a ton of basic and intermediate tutorials on my channel that I recommend you check out first. But less talking, more crawling out of the TV, let's jump right into the tutorial. Here we are in Adobe After Effects and for this tutorial we will use three separate clips. As always, you can find download links to these clips in the description of the video if you want to follow along. First, take the TV slide clip and drag it onto the new composition icon to create a new composition. I'm just going to rename this composition to Tutorial. This is nothing special, it's just a simple shot of a slider moving away from the TV. We want to composite Selena into the scene coming out of the TV just as the slider moves backwards. Since the scene contains camera movement, the first thing we need to do is to track our scene. For this, simply search for and apply the 3D camera tracker to the layer. This might take a little bit depending on the power of your machine, so, you know, go off, have a drink and come back when all of this is done. BAM! Even with the default settings, the 3D camera tracker should not have any problems with the scene, simply because the shape of the TV and all the objects in the scene are very distinct. Now let's create a solid for the TV screen. For this, simply select the four corner points of the TV in order, hold down shift to select them all, and then right click any of them and select create solid and camera. This will insert a new solid into the scene right at the position where the TV screen should be. If you scrub through a scene, you should see that nicely tracked into the center of the TV, just as we would expect. Let's quickly rename this to Track Solid Screen. And let's scale it up a little bit and fit it in nicely so it sits right where the TV screen should be. Zoom in a little bit, make sure that there's no gaps on the outside of the screen. That looks good, zoom back out. Scrubbing through, you should now have a TV screen inserted into the center of your TV. Next, obviously I'm not watching a solid blue TV screen. Let's replace the solid with a creepy forest scene that we created in my earlier tutorial. I have the clip we created in that tutorial here and it's called Out of the Well. Because we're going to use this tracking solid a couple of times, let's duplicate this one, so make sure it's selected and hit Ctrl D. And let's rename this one to TV Screen. Make sure the TV Screen layer is selected, then hold down Alt on your keyboard and drag the Out of the Well clip onto the TV Screen layer. The out of the well layer will literally replace the TV screen tracker, keeping the same 3D position in the scene. Obviously it's scaled up a little bit too much, so let's scale it back down and fit it in nicely right on top of the screen. That looks about right. And now if you play back the composition, you will have the creepy forest scene playing on the TV in our scene. To make this TV screen fit a little bit better into the scene, there are two small things I want to do. First off, zoom in a little bit. Due to the wide angle that we use to film the scene, you can see a little bit of lens distortion on the TV. It's a little bit bulged out. So let's apply a bulge effect to the TV screen itself. Simply search for and apply the bulge effect to the TV screen layer. Increase the horizontal radius and the vertical radius to cover the entire layer. And then obviously you see the distortion is way too strong. Let's lower the bulge height to 0.1. This will add just a little bit of barrel distortion to the TV screen, making it fit a little bit better into the scene. Secondly, to me, this TV screen is way too dark, so let's brighten it up a little bit. For this, we're going to use a curves effect. Search for and apply the curves effect to the TV screen layer. I'm going to push up the brightness by quite a bit and maybe let's add a little bit more contrast as well. That looks much better in my opinion. Now it's time to start making Selena crawl out of that TV. For this, as I mentioned, we are going to use the TV tracking solid again, so select your track solid screen layer, duplicate it, rename this one to girl in the TV, and drag it to the top. The reason I'm going to call this one girl in the TV is because 
When you watch the original clip from The Ring, you will see that the girl is behind the screen at first and then as she climbs out, she basically crosses the actual screen, like she basically passes through the screen. And so the first layer we want to create is the layer of Selena still being inside of the TV. The clip we are going to use is called Selena Climb Back. So again, make sure the girl in the TV layer is selected, hold down Alt and drag the Selena Climb Back layer onto the girl in the TV layer. Obviously this layer is a little bit distorted and it's way too small, so let's scale it up and reposition it a little bit. This clip is a video of Selena climbing backwards over the green screen couch. We did make sure that the height of the couch to these books under the green screen measured up to the height from the TV down onto the ground of the scene. This ensures that this clip, once we composite it into our final effect, will match properly onto the you know, objects in the actual scene. Yes, you have noticed that obviously right now it looks like Selena is climbing back into the TV. Just like with the footage for my girl out of the well tutorial, we filmed this scene backwards and then reversed it to add a creepy serial feel to the final effect. Therefore, the first thing you need to do is to reverse the timing of this video. For this, right click the girl in the TV layer and select time, time reverse layer. If you play this clip back now, you will have Selena coming out of the TV. We now have to also remove all the green screen because we really just want to have Selena in this video. First, use the pen tool to mask out a rough area around Selena just to remove most of the green screen clip. Uh, there's a little bit of her elbow being cut off on the side, so we have to make sure that we get all of that in. Next, we need to actually remove the green screen. For this, we're going to use our favorite key light effect. So search for and apply the key light effect to the girl in the TV layer. You've done this a million times, so I'm going to go through this pretty fast. Use the screen color picker to pick the green of the green screen. Change the view to screen matte. And then under the screen matte settings, increase the clip black property and lower the clip white property as needed to get a cleaner green screen. Switch the view back to final result. And now obviously we will also have to reposition Selena. Maybe let's scale this up a little bit as well. You want to make sure that there's no gap between the green screen clip of Selena climbing out of the TV and the actual bottom of the TV in the scene. Zoom back out and play this back. Yep, this is starting to look good, but you can obviously see Selena is a little bit too small. It doesn't look like she's really reaching the floor at the end of the clip. So let's scale her up a little bit more and make sure the clips are properly aligned. Yep, that looks nice and creepy. The last thing I want to do is that I think Selena starts climbing out of the TV just a little bit too early. So what I want to do is I will delay this layer a little bit. So I'm going to push it forward a little and enlarge it a little bit just so there's a little bit of a moment where Selena is still inside the TV and then she's coming out of the TV. It'll just make it look a little bit more dramatic and we'll get a nice transition when she actually passes through the screen. Now this layer is called girl in the TV because it is meant for when Selena is still behind the screen. Right now, however, it looks like she's already outside of the screen because color-wise she doesn't fit the scene that's being played back on the TV. We can easily fix that by color correcting Selena while she's still in the TV. For this, apply a curves effect to the girl in the TV layer. With the RGB curve selected, push it down to darken the entire clip quite considerably. Then jump over into the blue channel and add a lot of blue into the video. Then jump over into the green channel and bring it up a lot to blend Selena properly with that creepy forest scene that is playing back on the TV. Maybe I'll darken the clip just a little bit more. Color-wise, this looks pretty good to me. However, there's still a bit of a haze in the scene that is not sitting over Selena and we are going to do that exactly the same way we did it when we, you know, created the girl out of the well effect. So go over and search for the four color gradient effect. Apply this effect to the girl in the TV layer and then make sure that the four points are vertically aligned with the second and the third point covering the entire area of where Selena is. Set the color of the first point to black. The color of the second point, use the color picker to select a pretty bright blue from the TV screen. Set the color of the third one to a pretty dark blue from the TV screen. And set the color of the fourth point to black. You can now move these points around to adjust the color gradient, but the first thing we want to do is so that Selena is not just an outline, change the blend mode of the four color gradient to screen. Let's lower the opacity of the gradient as well, maybe to around 50% and then adjust the points of the gradient just so that the gradient effect seems to be sitting right over Selena's head. I think I'll lower the opacity just a little bit more, maybe to around 30%. The four color gradient does a lot to make it seem like Selena is still inside of the TV, part of that creepy forest scene. 
The last thing I want to add to make it seem even more like Selena is still inside of the TV is to add the interlacing lines that you can see in the spooky forest scene. For this, select the TV screen layer, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, drag it to the top of your composition and rename it to interlacing. We don't really need the curves effect, but do leave the bulge effect on this layer. Then search for and apply the turbulent noise effect to the interlacing layer. In the turbulent noise settings, open up the transform tab, untick the uniform scaling option, and then scale the width to as much as you can and scale the height down to as little as you can. Now alt click onto the stopwatch icon next to the offset turbulence property and in the expression editor simply type open square bracket zero comma time star 100 and close square bracket. This expression will offset the interlacing lines of the turbulent noise layer vertically. This just enhances the interlacing effect and makes it seem a little bit more like a real TV screen. You can see that the interlacing lines, even though the layer is above the girl in the TV layer, is actually still behind Selena. This is due to the fact that they're both 3D layers and the interlacing layer is just deeper in Z-space. You can easily fix that by selecting your interlacing layer and pushing it forward in Z-space until it is in front of Selena. Hmm, because we had to move this layer forward quite a bit, it did get a little bit larger in the scene, so let's make sure we'll scale it back down so it's not any bigger than the actual TV screen. That looks about right. Finally, change the blend mode of the interlacing layer to classic color burn. Obviously, it's way too strong, so also reduce the opacity of the interlacing layer to maybe around 10%. Rewind your composition and play this back. Yep, that looks pretty cool. It's starting to look nice and creepy. So now we have the part of Selena being inside the TV. Obviously, now we still need to do the transition of her coming through the screen and actually coming out of the TV. In order to have it appear like Selena is coming out of the TV, we obviously will need another layer of Selena where she's out of the TV that slowly gets revealed on top of all of this. So it appears that, you know, her body is slowly coming through the TV screen and out into the room. For that, select the girl in the TV layer and duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D. Rename this layer to girl out of the TV and then drag it above the interlacing layer. Remove both the curves effect as well as the four color gradient from this clip. One thing you may notice if you zoom in a lot is that this girl out of the TV layer is still affected by the interlacing layer. We need to make sure that the girl out of the TV layer is in front of the interlacing layer in Z-space. So drag it forward just a tad, just so that it's no longer affected by the interlacing lines. Cool, that looks good. So that's what Selena will look like inside the TV screen. And this is what she will look like when she comes out of the TV screen. Next, we want her to be revealed slowly as if she's passing through the physical TV screen out into the room. We will do that using a track mat. Select the track solid screen, Told you we're going to use it a couple of times. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and call it Out of TV Mat. Drag this layer to the top of your composition. And again, we need to make sure it's in front of everyone else. So drag it forward in Z space until it is in front of everything else. Finally, scale this layer up so that Selena is entirely covered all the way out of her TV behind this solid layer. Then disable its visibility. We will add a number of animated masks onto this out of TV mat to reveal the parts of Selena that we want to be outside of the TV screen. First off will be her hand coming out of the TV screen here on the right side. The next will be her hair flowing over the bottom of the TV. Then her head will probably be poking through the TV screen. So we're going to start making a mask that expands around her head. Her other hand is coming next and then her shoulders and then the rest of her body. So let's start with the right hand. Simply select the pen tool with the out of the TV mat still selected. Zoom in a little bit and draw a mask around Selena's hand where she should be outside of the TV screen. Press M to reveal the mask on the out of TV mat layer and then enable the keyframes for the mask path property. Then, and yes, this can be a little bit tedious, animate the mask to follow the pieces of her body that are slowly coming out of the TV screen. So for example, here I've moved the mask off screen, it comes in here as her knuckles pass through the TV screen, mask gets a bit bigger as her fingers reach over and then towards the end it starts encompassing everything so when she comes out of the TV screen all of those parts of Selena will be considered outside of the TV screen. Uh, let me quickly disable adaptive resolution for previewing. Once you're done with this mask repeat this process for all the pieces so next let's do Selena's head. I actually like locking down the masks once I no longer need to edit them so they don't get in the way so under the mask properties you can just lock that mask down. Let's go to the position where I think Selena's head will start coming through the TV probably around here and add a mask around the pieces that you want to come out of the TV screen. Enable keyframes for the mask path property and then animate it to follow the part of Selena's head that you want to be outside of the TV. 
Now repeat this process for Selena's left hand, her shoulders, her hair and any other parts that you want to have slowly poking out through the TV screen. Now this may look a little bit messy, but all I want is these masks define the areas of Selena that are broken through the TV screen out into the room. At the very end, make sure that you have masks covering every single piece of Selena's body because her entire body would be out of the TV by then. If you enable the visibility of the out of TV mat, you should see masks around all of the areas of Selena that are coming out of the screen. Right now, none of the masks have any feathering, so they're quite harsh around the edges. So what you may want to do is just open up all of your masks. Hit Shift F to add the mask feather property to the list. Then select all of your masks and simply increase the mask feather property for all of them just by a little bit, just to soften them out a little. Select the girl out of the TV layer just below the out of TV mat and set the track mat mode to alpha mat. If you play back your clip now, you will see Selena slowly being revealed as she passes through that invisible TV screen out into the room. The last thing that is missing are the highlights and the bulge effect of Selena's body parts as they're passing through that TV screen. To create these effects, select both the out of TV mat and the girl out of the TV layer and pre-compose them by clicking Ctrl, Shift and C. I am going to call my composition girl out of the TV comp and move all attributes into the new composition. Hit OK. Selena is now really misaligned because we did not pre-compose the 3D camera into our composition. However, we can fix this quite easily. Review the mode switches by pressing F4 on the keyboard and over here on the left side you have a collapse transformation switch. If you enable this switch for the girl out of the TV comp, the elements of this composition are basically being treated as if they were part of this comp of our tutorial comp and so the 3D camera is properly applied to them. Duplicate this layer and call this copy TV Transition Matte. Then search for and apply the Colorama effect to this layer. This looks pretty funky and is not at all what we want, so go into the effect settings for the Colorama effect, expand the input phase and then change the get phase from property to alpha. Open up the output cycle tab and change the use preset palette property to ramp gray. Zoom in a little bit and then drag the white color picker on the color wheel over to the right side to maybe around 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock. This will create a white gradient over the areas where the alpha changes from 0 to 100%. We will use this white outline as a track mat to define which parts of the image are going to glow and be a little bit bulgy. This will make it seem like the parts of Selena that are coming out of the TV actually have to pass through a physical TV screen to get into the room. You will notice that this white gradient is a lot flimsier on the outside of Selena than it is on the inside where the masks are overlapping. We can fix this easily with the fast blur effect, so go and search for the fast blur effect and apply it to the TV transition mat layer. Make sure that the fast blur effect sits before the colorama effect and then increase the blurriness just a little bit, maybe to around 5. This looks pretty funny, kind of like a cartoon character, but we now have white outlines around all of the parts of Selena that are coming through the screen. Next, create a new adjustment layer by going to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. I'm going to call this layer TV Transition. Make sure the layer sits below the TV Transition mat and then change the track mat option of this layer to Luma Mat. Next, search for and apply a curves effect to this new adjustment layer. Then go into the RGB channel and jack it up a lot to add a nice bright outline around all of the parts of Selena that are coming through the screen. Let's rewind a little bit and play this back. Cool, it is starting to look pretty good. Obviously, we want to limit this white highlight to only the area of the TV screen itself, but we'll fix that up in a moment. For now, go back a little bit and let's add a bulge effect to this rim that is coming out of the TV screen as well. For that, simply search for and apply the bulge effect to the TV transition adjustment layer. Make sure the bulge effect is centered on Selena and then jack up the horizontal radius and the vertical radius so all of Selena's body is covered by the bulge effect. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit clearer. Now, the bulge effect is pretty subtle and it is only going to occur in this highlight area that is around the body parts of Selena that are coming through the screen. Let's lower the bulge height to maybe 0.2. It is just going to add a little bit of distortion around the parts of Selena that are coming out of the screen. Next, because I have used rather rough masks to cut Selena out of the TV screen, you can see the edges of the mask and they're kind of straight and jaggedy and not looking very organic. We can easily fix this up with some distortion. Select the TV transition matte layer and then search for and apply the turbulent display effect to this layer. With the default settings, this is going to throw the outline around Selena off a little bit too much, so let's lower the size property to maybe around 10. All I want to do is add a little bit of distortion to this outline so it seems a little bit more organic and you can't see the edges of the masks. 
This looks pretty good to me. Let's zoom back out and let's deal with the fact that this adjustment layer is still being applied outside of the TV screen. Ideally, I'd want to use the TV screen layer, which we've already properly tracked into this shot, to mask out my actual transition mat. If we can limit the white outline in this mat to only the area of the TV screen, that means that the adjustment layer with the glow and the bulge will also only be applied to the areas that are within the TV screen. Unfortunately, our TV transition mat layer is already being used as a track mat and you can't put a track mat on another track mat, simply because After Effects is rendering the layers bottom up. However, there is a little trick that we can use to get around this. Select the TV screen layer and because it is a 3D layer, also select the 3D camera in our composition. Then duplicate them by pressing Ctrl D. With our two duplicated layers still selected, press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose them. I will call this comp TV transition mat mat. This layer itself is just a screen by itself properly tracked into the 3D scene. Because we are going to use this layer as the input to an effect that we will apply to our TV transition mat, you can disable the visibility on it. Next, select your TV transition mat layer and search for and apply the calculations effect to it. In the properties for the calculations effect, change the second layer property to our TV transition mat mat. The channel we want to use from this layer is the alpha channel, so change the second layer channel over to alpha. Then bring up the second layer opacity to 100%, so you can kind of see where the screen is overlaying our mat. And finally, change the blend mode of the calculations effect to stencil alpha. Very nice, the white highlights from our TV transition mat are now confined to the area of the actual TV screen. If you now disable the visibility of the TV transition mat layer again, you can see that the highlight and the pulse effect around Selena's parts that are coming out of the TV screen are only applied to the area of the actual TV screen. Personally, I find the edge of this mat on the bottom part of the TV a little bit too harsh, so let's quickly fix that up. Jump into the TV transition mat mat comp, and then search for and apply a fast blur effect to the TV screen layer. Jack the blurriness up to maybe around 30, and then jump back into the tutorial comp. Yep, it's subtle, but it looks a lot nicer. It'll just make the edges of this effect blend a little bit nicer into the scene. Finally, zoom back out, rewind your composition, and play back your final girl out of the TV visual effect. And that's a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you want to see more entertaining filmmaking and visual effects tutorials, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'd also greatly appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up, favorite it and share it around. And if you want to see more, you can also find and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or on Google+. Until next time, I will see you later.